all that matters about Brexit is that we take back control. It's everything is democracy. And it's Brexit is a means to an end. It's not an end in itself. The end is better government, is able to have cheaper food, clothing and footwear, control of value-added tax, able to make decisions for ourselves, able to have free ports that can trade with the rest of the world, able to set tax rates, unlike um, they're trying to get Ireland and £13 billion charged to Google. It's that great freedom, not for politicians, but for the British voter. Mm. When we have elections from now on, if you live in a rural constituency like mine and you're a farmer, and you have strong views on agricultural policy, you can vote for a party that will change it. In no election since 1970 has that been true. It didn't matter how you voted if you were a farmer, it was going to be the common agricultural policy. We'll, we'll come on to your sitting arrangements sh shortly. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> it's very traditional to sit like that in the House of Commons, it has to be said. But is it OK on the front bench? Do you know, it, in... in, in in hindsight, I think not. Um, and um, sitting comfortably, uh, distracted from the importance of what was going on. <laughs> but but, but I, I, I do accept it was a mistake. I think even some Telegraph readers didn't approve. And they wrote to me saying Nanny wouldn't approve. And we can't upset Nanny, Nanny. can we? <laughs> I, I don't think a deal works for the following reason. If we haven't left by the 31st of October, <coughs> the Brexit party won't want to do a deal with us. And if we have left by the 31st of October, what is the point of a deal? Because we will have delivered. So I think a deal is one of those things that sounds interesting, but it's very hard to see the circumstances when it would actually apply. Either we've done it and we've succeeded and we're all back together, or we've failed and the Brexit party is full steam ahead. Your choice, ladies and gentlemen, would be, would be do you vote with heart and emotion for the Brexit party and let Jeremy Corbyn in, or do you vote, in spite of all that went wrong over the last three years before Boris Johnson became leader, for a reinvigorated Conservative Party that will keep a Marxist out and deliver Brexit? That is the harsh reality that we will face. And I have said earlier the respect I have for Nigel Farage and the important role I think he has played. But we mustn't get carried away with ourselves. If you vote for the Brexit Party in the next general election, it's a vote effectively for Jeremy Corbyn. Think very hard, is that what you want? Post-Brexit, what is your optimistic view that Britain should do as the first three things on the 1st of November to compete and beat the European Union? Mm -hmm. Three uh, things. The, the, the three things. This was much easier when I was a backbencher because I wasn't bound by collective responsibility and I'm not really allowed to make government policy on the hoof. So let us talk in broad theoretical terms about where some of the opportunities may be. You mentioned one of them, sir, and that is the competitiveness of the City of London. The City of London has been weighed down, burdened by excess European regulation, by MIFID, AIFMD, and so on, which have existed to make us less competitive. We need to look at the competitiveness of the City of London. Uh, we need to look at the duties and the non-tariff barriers we impose on goods coming in from outside the European Union, which raise the price of those goods primarily to protect inefficient continental European businesses, not to do anything for British businesses. So we want to open up our markets, make our markets freer uh, as a second thing. And the third thing we need to do, and this is totemic rather than being something that will transform um, the British economy, is we need to restore our fishing waters. We owe a great debt to the fishing community. Um, uh, that they, they, they were deemed a price worth paying to join the European Union, and I think we should pay them the price back. 